Can he trade through this? Hi, it's Charlie giving you today's video. And this is all about a message really that came through uh, from a trader who's struggling just this year uh, with uh, constant drawdowns. So let's go into his message here. So his message was, uh, this year's been very tough and it's coming to the end. My equity curve hit 20% up from previous capital and then I've got to understand his English because it, uh, it got back six to seven times already. And this is the eighth time. What he means is it's pulled back uh, six, uh, eight times now. Uh, even in, in one low, it was below last year's balance. So what he means by that is it's gone into negative equity. He said, in other words, I've not made progress this year and keep dealing with drawdowns, even though I'm still in profit overall, uh, but learn learned that the year would come when I would make no money and will have to rely on my backups for living. I'm a little doubtful at the moment if I would ever make a living with trading. What's your view? I'm a day trader using a 15 minute chart. Right. Um, wow. So yeah, there's some considerations here. Firstly, if we just, there's a lot of things to go through. So if we take a 10 year period first of all so first of all i've i've probably done this before but if you took 10 a 10 year period and you took a trader who over that 10 years had made uh, down here uh, down the bottom uh, 10 years i don't know uh, let's let's say over 10 years for argument's sake that trader made 500% so 50% a year okay um so what we do know is that traders got to 500% at the end of the 10 years. Um, forget compounding, let's not get technical. So just say 500%, right, okay. Um, but what we don't know is in year one, that trader actually lost 10%. But in year two, that trader made maybe 80% and so on and so forth. So in actual fact, over a 10 year period, are we that... Um, uh, naive and you know to think that in an, an entire 10 year period that we can't have a losing year or potentially two losing years because it is naive really when you when you take a step back and you think yeah okay with any <coughs> excuse me with any sort of trading system um or trading approach then you could come out of sync that trading system could come out of sync with the market uh, let's put minus 15 percent in here <laughs> um, and then we'll put some more in um, plus 100 um, and this is the reality of the way it goes plus 20 etc etc anyway whatever it is to get to that 500 so this is the reality the way that it is with the market that it's the same on a micro level that you wouldn't expect to not make money if you were this person's a day trader as he said um, um, you wouldn't expect to not have a losing day on a single given day or or even a losing week. You would expect that. Um, but the problem is when we come out to uh, a year, it is a bigger time frame. I must admit, it does raise question marks more so with a day trader because a day trader over the course of a year should their system, if, it, if it's a profitable system, there will be periods during a year where their system, their approach isn't going to work, but more often it should iron itself out over a longer period. So now a swing trader who's taking, who's got less frequency, so he's taking less trades, then to have a losing year is more likely. But coming back to an intraday trader, as this chap is, um, it's still not out of the realms of possibility that you would have a losing year. Now, he, he sent me another message saying, I've traded, I'm just reading it on my phone here. Um, where is it? Uh, he's saying, um, I don't know what I'm doing at this stage, but I'm struggling to keep my last year's profits now. So this is an update uh, message. Uh, this year is testing my patience as a day trader. I've not done any any trading mistakes. Um, it's just my system isn't working at the moment. And even uh, market triggered my stop losses and the charts are missing the stop losses. I don't in, didn't understand what you were saying there, this chap. You'll have to explain because your English wasn't very good there. Um, 
and he's saying this has happened several times. I haven't got a clue what that 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 is say, <coughs> saying there. Um, he's saying my anxiety level is increasing and I'm losing my patience. I am working every day to pass through this phase. Um, it will pass like other drawdowns, but I'm not sure why I am not able to control my emotions and that voice in my mind. Right. Well, the reason that that trader can't control their emotions is because they're trying to trade for a living. So, as he said in his previous one about trading, I'm doubtful if I would ever make a living with trading. So, I'm, I'm having to make an assumption because that's it, it might be that he isn't trading for a living, but, um, but he's just questioning whether he would ever be able to do it. I don't know. But the, the problem, as always, when it comes to trading for a living is the pressure. So the pressure builds because if that is your sole source of income, then of course, if, as soon as you go into a drawdown, you're going to feel the pressure. So that is, of course, going to be um, much more important to someone like him than someone who is not trading for a living. Uh, they've got another source of income and they're trading. They're trading exactly the same. They get having exactly the same drawdowns. They might still be frustrated with it, but you know they're not trading for a living, and they'll just carry on trading through, and so they're not having all the self doubt that he may be having. Now, from a technical perspective, what he needs to do is, as far as these drawdowns are concerned, like he said, he's had something like eight or maybe nine now drawdowns this year. Um, with his intraday trading strategy. He said it's a system, so and he said he's not made any mistakes. Now, hopefully he draw he <laughs> he keeps a journal of his trading because when it comes to trading mistakes, you can think you're not, but um, but there could be mistakes in there. So he definitely needs to be journaling. He said something about um, getting stopped out on charts or something like that, which he's questioned. So that's the sort of thing that you would need to journal because it could be that he's with a dodgy broker and that the broker's stopping him out on a few trades here and there where he said, I'm, I'm making an assumption because he started talking about the charts, that the price on the chart hasn't gone to where he got stopped. If that's the case, that sounds like a bit of a dodgy broker. And so I would certainly want to look at that. But outside of that, when it comes to drawdowns, what he needs to look at, if he's got, if he's following a given strategy, which it sounds like he is, he needs to look at its historical performance, historical, uh, which I'm, he must have done, of course, he would have back tested all this to create the strategy in the first place, and say, well, you know, what was its drawdowns like historically? No, is this within the norms? Is this within normal trading to have these sorts of drawdowns? Has it had, it may not have had eight drawdowns in a year before, but has it had four before? In which case, this may well be perfectly normal and that that straight trading system is just the way that the market has been this year. Like I said at the beginning, it could well be that there's nothing wrong with his system and it's just the way that the market, whatever his system is trading, um, whatever his strategy is trading, it's just the way that the market's been behaving this year and he might go and make you know a, a lot of money next year with that same system. Um, I've seen this time and time again with trading systems which can have some you know deep drawdowns and then the next year they're going to have a really good uh, performance. So having said that, if it's not, if it's outside of historical norms and it's never done this before, then he has to then question whether the strategy itself is no longer viable. So if it's never done anything like that when in his historical testing, then it suggests that the the uh, the strategy itself may have died um, because that happens quite regularly when you're trading mechanical strategies they'll last for a while um, and then they'll just die off so that's what he needs to do is look at its historical performance going back um, if he can do that because he's trading off a 15 minute chart so he's gonna have to get that data um, and see what it did then 
and um and and you know, he can always adjust the performance the sorry adjust the strategy and make tweaks to it to see if um you know it, it, he can improve that performance so it could be that with the rules that he's using that it's just not working anymore but with an adaption of the rules um, and changing targets and stops and things like that um, that actually it could still be profitable so he needs to look at all of that the difficulty with that is you start going down a route whereby you change the rules and then it and then it doesn't work again but that may still be this as time progresses most strategies there is an element especially when you're mechanical trading that um, there's an element where um, you may need some adjustments to it so you can certainly look at that so there's essentially three things going on here uh, one is is it within its historical norms as I've already said um, Ooh, if I can just there we go or something like that <laughs> uh, two um, that it might be perfectly normal like I said you know over a 10 year period it might be you know that you know that that strat that particular strategy or any other strategy certainly you have to be open to the fact that over a larger period of time that it might have a losing year um, and you know, or, or an underperforming year or two over a 10 year period so that's not unheard of by any stretch um you know with an intraday strategy uh, you know w like i said with swing trading more likely because of trade frequency there's a lower trade frequency so it's very easy to for that sort of thing to happen but even with an intraday strategy it could happen um but at the same time you need to look at whether that performance the strategy has died so only you can know that by going back over its historical and three the pressure you're putting pressure on yourself emotionally by trying to trade for a living um, I think I don't know whether he is trying to trade for a living or whether he wants to trade for a living but if you want to trade for a living that's fine but you're gonna need to probably have more than one strategy um, because strategies will go through drawdowns um, but certainly where, wherever it is you're at at the moment, take the pressure off yourself. The more pressure you put on yourself to succeed, then the more emotional you're going to be. So the best way, even if you want to trade for a living, have a side hustle, have something. When I say a side hustle, it might be a side job. Maybe you, you're a barista in a coffee shop. I don't know. But have something else to, um, to bring in and income so that you can work that around your trading so that you're not putting yourself under pressure because as soon as you put yourself under pressure you will be prone to more mistakes and stress elevated cortisol levels for prolonged periods of time isn't healthy uh, over the longer term so you're better off not doing that um, you know um, trying to take that pressure off yourself so the, the first and foremost the most important thing is yes um, you need to delve into that strategy you know yes its performance has been underperforming this year but that may just be the way it's gone this year you need to look back um, but at the same time do consider that, that that strategy that approach you're using may have died off and it may not come back so you'll need to continue to monitor it but you, you may need to either adapt it and by adapting it that may fix it um, or you're going to need to introduce new strategies as well so that's my general advice there so there's an emotional advice as far as taking the pressure off yourself um, but it may be that you say no no I have got another job um, but I'm just feeling the pressure and I understand that as well so because you of course you still want to be successful but um, but then you have to accept that well you know these sort of things things go on in trading um, drawdowns are perfectly normal in trading um, but uh, but of course you know people's expectations are that they they don't want to lose money um, but the, the reality is that there's going to be times where a given strategy or approach isn't going to be profitable so anyway so that's that look at all the other elements of your trading and do let me know uh, how 
uh, how it progresses. You may have to either, in the end, throw the strategy in the bin or certainly adapt it and backtest the new, obviously adapt it, backtest it and see if that backtest um, improves its performance over this past year and then going forwards, hopefully then that strategy can work for you and be open to adding a new strategy in as well. So there's a load of stuff there to consider, but hopefully I've given you a few uh, pointers there today. If anyone's got any anything else to add, by all means do add in the comments to try and help this trader out.